This is sensational. Spinning back kick. Look at this. I mean, so quick. She misses the spinning back kick, and Alexa Grasso is on her back. If we can see that in real time, it's amazing. Oh Look how quick this is. Boom. Jumps on the back. Both hooks in immediately. She was not playing around on that shit. Oh, my goodness. And the way she cinched that up, never let go of the neck. Let's see it in real time. Watch she hit the head. Look at this. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. Barely eye in outstanding shape. Barely breathing heavy after round one. Oh, oh she ate that one hard. I mean, that sounds like someone is slapping the bag with a baseball bat. Yeah, it's bad. Oh, head kick. Oh. That was a perfectly placed head kick. It was the body kicks, man. Yep. She had taken those body kicks, so watch her hands. When she loaded up, she's thinking body and shin, to, shin the to the dome. And you can't take shin to the dome, man. And that was a bad one. As you see her legs, her legs switch, and she's still unconscious. Let's take a listen to it. Dominating. She, she is, is so dominating, good. Molly. Yeah, she's that good. But you know what? Maybe this is great for her to come in without any fanfare and for yep. people to see. Oh, she's back, back, back to it. Oh, oh man, yeah, she's got the good. leg over. Please tap. There's the there tap. Erin Blanchfield and her cold blooded best tonight. This was not competitive at all. I mean, this was not competitive. Blanchfield just dominated from start to finish. She got the takedown. John, put her in the crucifix, beat her up, and then got the submission. The strikes are 111 to 6. I'm looking at the screen right now. That was pure domination by Aaron Blanchfield. And when a person looks at the line and they go, wow, she's that big a favorite over Molly McCann after what Molly's done, then she does that. She shows what she can be in this division. I mean, what a performance by Aaron Blanchfield. She looks a little too strong. Oh, big right center down. Getting on the end, Fioro hammering away, reaching back to her feet. Hey, look at that. So strong. I'm telling you, it's a fury. So overwhelming. And the toughness of Ricci to stay in this right now, I mean, goodness. Could you imagine if she does something with this Kimura hold that she has here? That's going to do it. The beast again. What a Wow. I mean, look at this, just swarms forward, letting the hands go. A lot of power, puts it down there. I thought it was going to be finished here. Got through with a lot of shots, but Ricci, no quitting her. Worked her way back to the feet. But not for long. Rundin had to step in, save her from herself. Too tough for her own good, but Manon Fioro, my word, just sensational. Another tremendous performance. That little left hook that ball oh. around. to her right, to her left hand. Oh, she had her back. Oh, oh, How is she still going? Eleven bones! That is a start, that was started by a left high kick. This whole cross is a continuation of it. Barber's gonna be in the top 10 next week. Here you go, you see the high kick, boom. That started it all. She had her hurt here. Then it follows with another right hand that had Hebos just pause. But this high kick, you don't get kicked like that and don't deal with the remains of the damage. Look at that, she tries to back up, she gets hit again with a right hand that pauses her, makes her stop. Then she's able to, there it is, it drops her. Hebos tries to take a single leg. Barbara is on her, just really trying to finish the fight. And great job by Keith Peterson. Taking his time, giving Amanda Hebos the right opportunity until no more was born. I mean, this is so tight. If I'm on drives, I might not, I'm not, I don't know if I'm not stepping around with my left leg trying to trip her back. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Oh, I was talking about getting it to the ground. Jessica on drugs. Look at this. 
But look at this. She, she got right on that it. right hand, too, DC. She jumped right on it, Paul. And then she's just going to work. She just kept, you saw the little micro adjustments, working yep. that hand in, and then she starts sliding the right hand across the face of Lemos, tightening it up. Tighten that lock, and I'm, I'm talking about going to the ground. He said, I don't know if she has to take it to the ground. You could see, I could start to see her have that panic motion in her body. Yep. And she was getting closer and closer. Notice how tight Andrade stayed to the body.